what's up guys welcome back to halfman of tech so ios 14 beta 5 is about to drop so this is a video where i talk about what to expect when to expect it and also what's going to happen when ios 14 beta 5 comes out so if you're excited for that and you are excited about ios 14 beta 5 videos definitely hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the latest tech content that we have for you so first things first let's start off with a possible release date for ios 14 beta 5 if you open our calendar app you can see that today is the 12th of august 2020 and ios 14 beta 5 is actually expected as early as tomorrow so this was possibly going to happen but something happened today and that is the release of ios 13.6.1 it was released today on the 12th so that could possibly cancel the release of ios 14 beta 5 tomorrow so if it doesn't drop tomorrow tomorrow on the 13th of august 2020 then it's definitely going to drop next week and next week is going to be between the 17th to the 21st of august that is when we highly anticipate it to drop and it's mostly going to be on a tuesday or wednesday so between tuesday the 18th or thursday if that is next week that's when we expect ios 14 beta 5 now when it comes to some anticipated changes that we expect to see when it comes to ios 14 beta 5 first things that we want to see you see this siri ui that you see here it basically covers like a large portion of these applications here right and you can't use your phone when siri is active so you can't browse around or read notes or open application so with ios 14 beta 5 it is rumored that we could actually see a more compact siri that you know won't cover these applications here and will work in the background right so that is something that we expect to see and also with ios 14 beta 5 we could see youtube picture in picture right so you see how you don't have picture in picture within the youtube app even if you enter full screen and press the home button you don't have picture in picture using the youtube app you have to go to safari and then go to youtube and play a certain video and then once you enter full screen mode that's when you can be able to use picture in picture but that could change with ios 14 beta 5 some other changes that we expect to see or improvements with ios 14 beta 5 has to do with instagram so if you have instagram on your iphone and you use the new reels feature you notice that you know from time to time if you use an older device like this iphone 6s that i have here right it will basically crash right so when you're using that that is a stability issue that needs to be addressed and will be addressed with ios 14 beta 5 it's a non-issue and it has been reported also something else that we expect to see with ios 14 beta 5 is a beta build number so if you go into the general and go to the about section here you can see that on beta 4 we have an e but with beta 5 it's actually going to be a better letter like a c or a d most likely a c which is going to be more stable as we approach the end of the beta stages of ios 14 before it comes out to the public it's rumored that it's going to drop in october but we'll see where our hopes takes us so also something that quite a number of people are experiencing with beta 4 that beta 5 is going to fix is improved widgets so you can see that i have two widgets here one is the weather widget and the other one you know is another weather widget but one is working and one isn't and also if you use the clock widget you notice that you know from time to time it doesn't work right so if you are using widgets and you are having issues quite a number of people are reporting you know this widget issue and it seems like it's not just affecting all the iphones it's affecting most of the iphones right so if this is an issue that you are facing with a clock widget or the weather widget this is something that uh, is definitely going to be fixed and also it is rumored that we could be seeing more options when it comes to the apple tv widget that has been added so basically that's more or less the new things that we expect now when it comes to battery performance for ios 14 beta 5 if you go to the setting right and then go to the battery section for me which is here you can see that my battery health is on 80 percent now this could actually change change with ios 14 beta 5 we could see a degraded percentage as there's a recalculation with that or we could 
basically remain more or less the same the latter is highly likely and also when it comes to performance right my device has been quite okay you know if you go to the cpu performance and the history that i've been having you can see that you know my device has been more or less average when it comes to iphone success figures you can see that i'm very close in range on single core and for multi-core also i'm very close in range but on the lowest lowest end of the scale so that is expected to change when it comes to ios 14 beta 5 the moment it comes out the same also goes when it comes to gpu or graphic performance you can see that you know i'm slightly below average and especially when it comes to graphic performance my device is performing lower on beta 4 than most iphone success devices and if you are seeing scores that are lower than the average this is something that we expect to see fixed with ios 14 beta 5 when it comes out so this this is an update that is coming very soon and expected during the time frames that i have mentioned i have high hopes that it's going to drop soon so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace